Okay, up on the roof here on Colbert Circle. Um, this is for Shay Anderson, Realtor. She asked me to come out and to inspect the roof and talk about the roof replacement. So I just finished doing all the measurements. As you can see, you basically have four sections. You have three flat roof sections, big rectangle up front, long rectangle on the side, and then a big square rectangle on the back. And then you have the shingle section as well too. Um, let's talk about how I came up with the measurements today. I measured each individual rectangle. This is the flat roof column, 378, 96, 716. When you add those three numbers together, you get 2982 or 2,982 square feet. We always add a 10% waste ratio because you never want to buy just enough material. You need a little bit more than what you actually goes on the roof. So that's 10%. And when you add 10% to this number, you come up with 3,300 square feet. Another way of saying 3,300 square feet is 33 squares. Every 10 by 10 equals a square. That's an old timey roofing term. And then when we have the, uh, the shing shingle section, it's 25 by 37. That's this number here, 925, 10%. You come up with exactly 1,000 square feet or 10 squares is what we call it. So these two are your magic numbers that I'm gonna build your estimate with. Uh, I did notice that there's a lot of soft, wet, saggy plywood that's underneath of the, the roofing sections. So I've gone ahead and included the plywood replacement as needed um, into, the, into the estimate. We have two two by two skylights with the little plastic dome. Since this is in the carport area, we can put the plastic domes, new plastic domes back on top. And then here's the other flat roof section that I've already accounted for in the measurements. But let's talk for a second how we're gonna replace this roof. Regardless of whether we're talking about the shingle or the flat roof, what's really important in my model here, forget the fact that this is metal because all the layers underneath are so vitally important, okay? So we're gonna remove the flat roof material. We're gonna remove the shingles. We're gonna get down to the bare plywood like I already talked about. We're gonna replace the plywood as needed. There's a substantial amount of plywood that's rotted that's gonna be replaced, okay? And then we're gonna install what's called waterproof barrier. So underneath the shingles on top of the new plywood, we're gonna install water, waterproof barrier, okay? Underneath the new flat roof, there's what's called tapered insulation board. And it's this ever so subtle slope that allows the water to move away from the house. So, so obviously that's so vitally important to keep that water moving away from the house, okay? And then we're gonna put either on the flat roof, there'll be two layers of additional water, waterproof um, material, flat roof material. And then we're gonna install your CertainTeed landmark shingles on the, the pitch section here. So that's how Florida Native is gonna do your roof. I look forward to working with you. Thank